not be the way you thought it should happen. Right. Might not be the way the source you thought it was coming from. Right. Might not be at all. Right. Your hand, you 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 got to trust God. Yeah. Right. Amen. 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 Say so. Praise God. Praise God. You know, that's one of the most difficult lessons to learn. It is. Is to trust God when it looks like absolutely everything is down to yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When it looks that way. Mm-hmm. But we're not going by what we're seeing, are we? Mm-hmm. Naaman said, why does it come out? And why would I want to go wash in a nasty river? Uh-huh. Oh, what he's thinking, feeling, seeing, yeah. the sensual. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The little lady, the widow... At least she just went and did it. Yeah. Doesn't show her questioning it. She just went and did it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now, there were lots of widows and there were lots of lepers, but God mentioned and healed two. Yeah. Now, there are lots of people hurting today. Somebody asked me at work the other day. They were talking about uh, one of the guys were making fun because he saw somebody on TV healing somebody, mm-hmm. an evangelist. And he was going, Heal. I haven't been there in Saints Day. I don't know. Anyway, hey, let me tell you, I know people healed under Ernest Saints ministry. Yeah, don't mock right. Ernest Saints. That's right. Anyway, he's a little different in his delivery of it, but the results are good. Okay? So, anyway, they were making fun of it. And this guy, and I said, no, it's very real. You know, I don't know about this guy, who he was, or whatever, but I know that healing is real. And they said, they, one of them said to me, then how come you don't just go in the hospital and wipe them all out and get them out of there? I said, because people are not ready to receive it. That's, right. That's, That's right. the very That's reason. Right. That's right. If they would receive it, That's they right. could get up and yeah. get out of there. That's right. But the key is they're not ready to receive right. And that's the fault of the church because we haven't that's preached right. it. We've been preaching well, we feel bad for you. I know you're sick. I know you're down and out. God is with you and He'll help you through it. But I'm so sorry it's happened this way. I don't know the answers. We don't know all things. Only God does. And that's what we preach. And people die. Just like the world dies. When it's in the power of our hands to say, Get up. Be healed. And I told them that it's available. Instead we told them, just, Well, we get... God, you know, God wants people sometimes to suffer. You got to suffer a little bit, you know. I mean, we hear this junk. It's junk. It's demonic. It's doctrines uh, from hell. Hallelujah. We got to preach the truth. Glory to God. I'm a believer, and I'm a receiver. Amen. Say it. I'm a believer. I'm a receiver. I'm a receiver. Say it again. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. And I'm a receiver. I'm a receiver. All of God's grace is yours. All of God's grace is yours. All of it. All of it. All of it. You come behind in no good thing. That's right. Hallelujah. You're on top and not the bottom. You're the head, and not the tail. You're above and not beneath. Right. Right. Hallelujah. You have the power in you to create wealth. Amen? Amen. To establish His covenant to the nations. Glory to God. The greater one is living inside of you. If God be for you, who can be against you? Perfect love has cast out all fear. Do we receive this or is it just a chant to us? Just a conversation to us? Or do we believe it so much that we live it? Let's pray. Father, we love you. Thank you for this time together. Thank you for your word. Lord, we're committed to receiving all that your blood bought for us. And we thank you for it, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Everybody said Amen. 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 Listen. Well, I came here a couple weeks ago asking for prayer for my friend. This man died twice. He had collapsed lungs. And I you know, I go down and witness to a bunch of people and they all sit up there and well, when they told me this guy had basically died, they started cussing me out when I said, you know what? He'll be back here in two months. He's not dead. I know that I know that my God's faithful. And they just 
really cussing me out and said some great words. Well, you know what? I, you guys have been praying for him. I've been going to the hospital and reading the Bible every day to him for, you know, about an hour. And he's out of it, and he's got the trick in him. And the doctors came in, and they told me, you know what? He's just basically going to be in the distance of the dots. And, you know, you strap down and the fittings on and all the tubes in him. And I looked at him, and I said, you know, I might, I might appear crazy to you, but, you know, I go to the great physician, and my God heals people. Right. This man is not right. going to die. And right. get a little this for you guys. I kind of stayed away from the people I was telling Christ about, because I get kind of sick of it, you know? Well, I went in there, and they told me he was getting out in two weeks, that his lungs had been healed. Great. <laughs> and Bill has a trick in him. And they put him into another home. But the doctors were telling me that he was going to die and mm -hmm. he wasn't going to come out of it. But his lungs have been healed, he had COP, and they have been blessed. Hallelujah. I want to remind you that uh, Tuesday night, Pastor Jane teaches 7.30 to 8.30. It's very good. And uh, then Thursday night, we already talked about the school. I said this past Saturday night was our uh, leadership, but it wasn't. This coming Saturday night is leadership. And uh, starts at uh, 6.30. And it's about a 30 minute program. And we invite you to come. If you're a leader in this church, you need to come. If you're someone that just goes to this church, see your church, you like the word, you need to come too. It's good for you. That's it's right. uh, Kenneth Copeland. It's good. Good teaching. Mm -hmm. We're also praying about going to the Guavaline. If you have a desire to go to Guavaline Saturday night after that, pass out tracks in Tampa. At, uh, we don't go inside Guavaline, we stand at the door. And we pass them out. Yes, Mike. I found out that they've changed the way that they're setting it up this year. Uh -oh. There will not be an entrance. Yes. They're not going to charge an entrance fee. Oh. They're only going to charge for the concerts in the concert hall. So it's all going to be like an open street party Whoa. instead of having an mm -hmm. entrance. Just I wanted to make you aware of that so that you can take that into consideration yes. in your prayer. Time. That's good to know, Michael. You're welcome. If you're interested in going, we'll, we'll pray about it and uh, see what the Lord says. But we go and pass out tracks there. We have been protected in the past because there was a gate that stopped the stuff from so much bombarding us. They just walked by. Right. But with that being the case, not sure. We might go check it out. Anyway. But if you if you have a desire yeah. to witness like that and uh, let your light shine in a very dark area, then let me know. <coughs> that would be Saturday after the leadership meeting. And uh, we'll see. Well, Guavaline is like a Mardi Gras, but it's in Tampa, close to home. Ebor City, it's full of drinking, drugs, homosexuality, all the bad things. And the later at night, it gets the worse it gets. So we used to go and pass out tracks to people going into it or coming out. But what he's saying is there's no gate this time, so it's just going to all be there. So I'm not sure how we're So, yeah, it's been quite open. Some have gone as and don't like it because the people are not like... like when we go to the fair, they're very nice to us when we pass out tracks. When we go to Guavoin, they're just drunk and high and... The guys look like girls, the girls look like guys, and stuff like that. Some of them don't have no clothes on, hardly. So, yep. You know, it's a very different world. But we have always liked to go to take the gospel there to the people. And we've always seen somebody saved, at least one saved there, during our time there. Um, so, it's just always kind of been something we do. But we may relook at it this year if that's the case on the gate. Listen, and if you have an interest, let me know anyway, and we'll talk about it.
But you know, they were sitting up there really eating some mud. And they're still kind of watching. But you know what? I'm frank. They're, they're foreigners. You know, and they're into all these other religions. Yeah. And so I'm just kind of praising God and waiting. God likes to show off. To see how long it'll take before it goes. He's already saved. Show off. You know, I did not realize we had communion today. And so, uh, Andrew, you ready for that? Yeah. While he's coming, get ready for communion. We'll take communion and then we'll be dismissed. Uh, Beverly would like me to announce that if you have something to give to the Lending Library,